Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, for another jam-packed YouTube video. Today, we are going to be talking about XRP from a purely price point of view. Now, over the past couple of weeks, we've really been talking about how we believe Ripple is going to be a key enabler for the United States in regards to maintaining their currency dominance. Now, if you haven't watched those videos, please go and do so. But they are all fundamental reasons why XRP may do well. What I want to talk about, though, in this video is why we've even started to highlight XRP when we have. And it is all due to the technical significance of the XRP chart in regards to where it currently is. And we're going to be doing something really interesting today because we're going to be looking at a video from someone from the Frankfurt Stock Exchange looking at the exact same thing that we are looking at and predicting nearly a 20x in price from where it currently is. This very much aligns with what we're looking at technically and also what we've been talking about fundamentally being the reasoning or perhaps one of the reasons why XRP is about to see a 2017 style move. So this is absolutely a video not to miss. Do leave a like and a comment to help get this content out to a broader audience. And I'm talking to you XRP haters out there. Also, it still baffles me why people that don't like XRP watch XRP videos. But hey ho, we've all got to get a kick out of something, I guess. So without further ado, let's first of all start with the XRP chart. And let's remind people what it is that we're highlighting and why we're talking about XRP when we are. So we have not been making heavy XRP content throughout really what is this pattern that has been forming. We are only highlighting it at what we think is a key point in regards to where XRP is, just like where it was going into 2017. Now, the rally that we saw from 2017 was a whopping 65,000%. I am not calling for that this time. But what I am calling for is a double digit XRP price. Where exactly that's going to go, I'm not 100% sure. But XRP since 2018 has been setting up a very similar pattern to what it set up going into 2017. So from 2014 to 2017. And I believe a similar result is coming not to the same percentage. It's important we say that. We're not trying to call for a $500 XRP price here or anything of that sort. But what we are calling for is an explosive move in much a similar manner to what we have previously seen. And I think it isn't too far away, certainly with regulatory clarity coming to the cryptocurrency space. Why XRP was singled out out of thousands of cryptocurrencies to me is more of a green light than it is a red one. Um, but what I want to do now, now that we've sort of highlighted this, certainly in regards to where we are, is actually dive over to a clip from someone from the Frankfurt Stock Exchange, the German Stock Exchange, the biggest German Stock Exchange, talking about three charts. He's got Solana and Ethereum up there, and he's highlighting XRP on a broad basis and highlighting the exact same thing we're highlighting and have been highlighting recently. We've been going down the fundamental rabbit hole in regards to why XRP is going to do well, why Ripple is going to become a unicorn stock for the United States. But what I want to do is actually play the clip and we'll sort of stop it at different points. Obviously, I don't speak German, but there is subtitles, thank goodness. Um, and we'll sort of break it all down for you. So without further ado, let's dive into that clip and let's start things off. Die drei Altcoins sich anschaut bei XRP sieht deutlich anders aus als Solana und Ethereum. Warum? Ich habe hier XRP ähm, ebenfalls in der Monatsdarstellung, aber aber weiter zusammengezogen von 14 bis heute. Mhm. Und ähm, beim XRP muss man ganz klar sagen, da hat sich seit einem Jahr nichts getan. Von mhm. 50 Cent auf 52 US Cent. Also das ist so viel wie nix. Deswegen habe ich mal diese Darstellung gewählt äh, und zwar die, die Hoffnung äh, der XRP Besitzer, die sich in folgendem Bild ausdrückt. Und zwar hatten wir seinerzeit 14 bis 17 hier dieses Wedge, das sich zusammengepresst hat und wir hatten in einem ersten Ausbruch nach oben sage und schreibe 4300 Prozent bis zu diesem Level. Und dann ist es ein bisschen zur Seite gegangen und hat einen weiteren Ausbruch gehabt und von hier unten bis hier oben waren das sage und schreibe 39.700 Prozent. So the first thing that is highlighting is the pattern that set up the compression pattern that set up from 2014 to 2017. 
like we've highlighted and we're saying a similar thing is going to come he's highlighting that pattern and he's going to go on to tell you the kind of move that you saw out of it das, das, sind, Betrachtung an. das sind zwei tolle zahlen und das ist natürlich das worauf die xrp gemeinde jetzt hofft weil hier bildet sich ähnlich über jahre jetzt schon wieder ein solches wedge aus der druck spitzt sich hier zu und alle hoffen natürlich auf den ausbruch nach oben und äh, es muss ja kein 40x sein wie hier. Es, es, mir würde auch schon ein 20x reichen, weil dann ist man irgendwo zwischen 8, 9, 10 US-Dollar und äh, das wäre schon nicht schlecht. Ja, das und, äh, das ist etwas, worauf man hoffen kann und warten kann und das ist auch etwas, was ich tue. So he's saying, he's looking at the same thing playing out again today and he's hoping for the same result as what we saw in 2017. It's not going to do the 40x like he had previously mentioned we saw from 2017. But he's saying, you know, a 20x to the sort of eight, nine, ten dollar range is more than feasible. And actually what he's betting on, just like we are here at the channel and we've been looking at fundamentally why this may take place. Price goes hand in hand with fundamentals, but price action and technical analysis will make you early to the party. Everyone, you see, once this starts moving, everyone will FOMO in. Certainly given the kind of anger and um, frustration that XRP holders and sort of uh, watchers have um, endured really from 2018 onwards. Das heißt, du, es kommt wirklich nur auf die Betrachtungsweise an, woraus man die, die Freude oder die Hoffnung dann schöpft. Na ja gut, man muss ja dazu sagen, Ripple positioniert sich anders als die beiden. Ja. ja die beiden gehen in die Breite. Wir hatten ja gesagt, eine Milliarde, äh, eine Million Coins und Tokens sind emittiert worden seit April auf diesen beiden Blockchains. Ja. Das ist ein ganz anderes Klientel. Die wollen sich darstellen als Vollsortimenter für Firmenkunden und institutionelle Kunden. Zentralbanken und Banken äh, haben jetzt äh, Standard Custody übernommen. Von, von äh, Polysign haben, wollen jetzt einen Stablecoin aufsetzen. Also da passiert eine ganze Menge für dieses Klientel. Und ich kann mir gut vorstellen, dass wenn der Rechtsstreit, und ich wiederhole mich da gerne, äh, ausgestanden ist, und, und alle sich bewegen, dass auch hier zu diesem Ausbruch kommt. Und dieser Ausbruch dürfte dann allerdings im Vergleich zu diesen beiden dürfte und hoffentlich äh, natürlich heftiger ausfallen. So he then goes on to say and highlights um, that XRP is positioned very differently from the likes of Ethereum and Solana, you know, in regards to them being uh, things you can issue tokens on. XRP is a lot more specific, and I think that's going to be its strength eventually. He talks about the institutional clients, he talks about standard custody, and he talks about stablecoins and the unique positioning, which we did a video on in regards to XRP being the dark horse of this bull market that XRP currently has. He also highlights, and it's very important, the sort of legal dispute that is going on. And once that is overcame, and actually just a couple of days ago, we saw that uh, the SEC concluded its Ethereum investigation. So if you're going to say Ethereum isn't a security, that means XRP isn't. And we already have Judge Torres classifying it as a non-security. So this was absolutely an interesting video because it's someone respectable from the Frankfurt Stock Exchange highlighting the exact thing we are looking at also ladies and gentlemen are you ready for that train to leave the station well I think there's a lot of people that have been ready for a number of years now but I do believe it is coming remember nothing that we say or do on this channel is financial advice this is just my own take on everything and it's kind of comforting to see someone from the Frankfurt Stock Exchange actually looking at a similar thing to what we are I truly believe that Ripple is going to play a vital role when it comes to the United States and the dollar reserve currency. We see them moving away from the petrodollar agreement, the likes of Saudi Arabia, which essentially entails that they have to sell oil in dollars. The question is, what is going to happen under that context? Also, what is going to happen under the context of the BRICS nations, people dumping US debt? Well, actually, uh, a stable coin that is backed by US debt can really increase the demand for it and further the United States' role across the world. And just like with the other tech companies they have that they use to further their power globally, I believe Ripple is going to play a similar role and XRP is going to be a key part in all of that. Ladies and gentlemen, that is it from me. I hope you've enjoyed this update as much as I've enjoyed presenting it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Share this video around. And on that note, I'm going to love and leave you. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. See you in the next one.